All right, guys, a quick update on the engine. So as you guys can see, I put a new uh, oil filter on, high flow. So that's on. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is, this is the old water pump. And what you might notice is, uh, due to the corrosion, it broke when I was taking it off. You can see this part's broken. So I did purchase a new second-hand one, which is quite clean, quite good condition. I am going to be giving it a clean up and polish it up. That's what I'm going to try and do today. Um, all the internals look quite good. Uh, also, I've got new gaskets. So I've got a gasket that goes here, this rubber seal, and I've also got the other one that goes on the inside here. So I'll be cleaning this up, fitting the new the two new rubbers in, and putting that back on the bike. So if I'm correct, I think that goes on somewhere down here in this hole here. If you guys can see it, fits in here. So that's gonna to have to go on. So today I'm gonna to work on trying to get this thing ready to go. All right, so here again, this is the old one. You can see how rusty that is in there. Um, I don't want to chance messing with this old one. Obviously there was, there was fluid in it, it's just rusted out. This is the other one here. Again, the seals are not too bad, but I'm gonna replace them. Uh, and inside you can see it's a lot cleaner in this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean all in the inside as well, try and get the Dremel in there, clean all the nooks and crannies, clean it all up, clean all this up as well, and uh, replace these seals. <laughs> we
one here has been cleaned up nicely as you can see uh, i've got some metal polish and i'm gonna try and hand polish it with some metal polish this is obviously the old rusty crusty one versus the new one and this is the cover again as you can see i've cleaned up nicely cleaned up all inside here as well with the dremel so yeah i'm gonna hit this with some metal polish and try and see if i can make this look a little bit better also a quick update on these as well that i had painted the other day i actually ended up flattening them down again and uh hit them again i'm just hitting them with some uh clear coat again so this is the first coat of clear coat that i put on i'm much much more happy with them now can't wait to get these back on the engine make this engine look su super <laughs> So this is the starter motor that I've tried to clean up. It was looking horrible. So I've just taken a lot of the surface rust off. I know it works and it works. It works perfectly actually. Um, it's just really ugly. So um, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more of this surface rust off here. And then what I'm probably gonna do is mask up this area here and repaint this with a black. I have a direct to rust uh, black paint, satin black paint. So I'm just gonna paint this area here and I will try it again get some of that polish on the on these two metal sides I've painted the manifold as well with heat resistant paint. That's the manifold. That's come out really good. Give it a nice uh, clean down and then I painted it. So here's the starter motor as well. I just painted the whole thing black in the end. Quick update as well with these heads. So this was the head that gave me no problems. This was um, the one where all the, all the studs came out, no problem. So I put some new studs in here. I've got another two to put in here once I find where I put them. Um, but the one that gave me all the problems was this one. So you remember there was a lot of more corrosion around this one. As you guys can see here, 
this one the new studs go in but there was a bit broken off here and there's some minor bits eaten away from here although it does screw quite deep in so i'm not particularly too worried about that but i definitely want to get this welded um these were the two that were stuck this is the one that had the broken bit in it as you see here i've had to drill all this out the side to get this out um but good news is uh there is actually quite a lot of thread in there so um this is been threaded right down it's got the thread all the way from here all the way down because i actually managed to get the piece out so i'm gonna try or hopefully get this um rebuilt back again and tapped or something uh this one again was the other one that i managed to get out this needs to be retapped as well so i think i can save the heads as i said this one screwed right down and to be honest even as it is now it probably hold so i'm sure once it's welded it will be fine so that is where i am with this head so yeah i'm really happy i think i've saved it uh, because as i said in a previous video it's really hard to find the front heads i can't seem to find them anywhere um, i can find a lot of the rear ones for sale but i can't find the front ones for sale so um hopefully very soon um i'll be getting this part um, repaired and then uh this head can be completed um i'm still waiting for these seals or these seats these these here um they should have come by now but i don't know where they are as soon as they come um i'm going to replace all of them on here and also i need to regrind these valves here which are which are all the ones here in in order and then once I've reground them, I want to put the new seats in and put those valves back in. And then this head will be done and ready to go back on as well. So guys, this is what I managed to do today. I managed to clean these bits up. I can't find my metal polish, so I'm going to have to polish these up when I when I find it. But they're all ready to go, all cleaned up. I've re-lacquered these as well. And I've painted these bits in black. So a lot of cleaning, sanding, rubbing down and painting a lot of time but i'm really happy with the results so guys that's as far as i got today um just been prepping bits i've got a lot of bits like that to do so maybe in the next couple of videos you might see a lot of prepping and sanding and polishing and stuff like that um, but hopefully hopefully the next video i start putting the engine back together um, with some of the bits that i have already painted so um so please yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.